you ready? Torsion bar. Torsion bar. Everybody wants out of Winona, and we're the only ones that can't get out. Relax, Shaggy. A little wind never hurt anyone. There's only one thing that will get Shaggy and Scooby's mind off spending another night here. Right. Food. Hey, Tink, if you can spare Speed Bucky for a few minutes, we'll go hunt for some hamburgers. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. Let's go. Let's go. Better roll the zoom zoom. Food, food! Oh, I've been so scared, the only thing I've had in my stomach is butterflies. <laughs> Poor Mr. Duncan, he's about to lose his farm. There must be some explanation to this mystery. It would sure help if we could solve it. Delma, are you thinking what I'm thinking? I think so, Debbie. If you're thinking what I think you're thinking, I wish you both stop thinking. <laughs> of Mr. Duncan to prepare this snack. Yeah, every store in town is shut up tight. There was no food to be bought. But now there's plenty to eat thanks to Mr. Duncan. <laughs> hey, what about me? There you are, Stacy. Mm -hmm. A nice cool quart of oil. Debbie and I have come up with a really far out idea. If it's to hitchhike out of here, my thumb can't wait to get started. <laughs> The idea is, since we have to spend the night here, let's try to find out where those spooky winds come from. It's okay by me. Me too, since we won't be able to sleep anyway. Out of sight. We'll sneak out of the house and meet here at midnight. Midnight? What's wrong with you, Shaggy? <laughs> I think I just lost my appetite. No, man. Huh? Just lost your hamburger. <laughs> It's almost midnight. Where are the girls? Here we are. Is everybody ready? I reckon we're as ready as we'll ever be. Is it midnight yet? Does that answer your question, Daphne? Let's get going. You go. We'll stay here and guard the barn. 